Hey guys, so after going through this camel grind for the M79, also known as the noob tube, or the thumper, or as I like to call it, Hell raineth down from above. I realized I should share some of the things I learned going through this, hopefully help out those of you that are finding this grind to be hella frustrating, because it is. The hardest part about this grind for me, at first, and the main reason I made this video was the science camel where you have to get three vehicle or score streak kills in a single game ten times. You know, it really doesn't sound like much to get done, but it ends up being an absolute chore. I did like most people do when you're trying to figure out the best way to do something. I checked out Google and YouTube. I did get some ideas, but nothing I could find actually made it easier. I did pick up some tips that kind of led me in the right direction, but overall, what was being shared, the tips I found, really didn't work for me. Maybe it's because I'm old? I'm in my 50s, so could be. I finally figured out a way to get this done a hell of a lot easier than any other way I could find being shared or posted by anyone else. So when I realized how maddening going after the science camo was, I started recording some of my gameplay so I could show people how I was getting it done. I just want to mention that all of these challenges have to be completed in multiplayer. Warzone, Plunder, that won't work. However, Fireteam Dirty Bomb does work, and that's where I completed a lot of these challenges. Okay, I'm just going to go over the various challenges quick, in case you're not familiar with them. But if you are, just skip past this part. This video is already long enough. Okay, the first one's a spray camel. It's just kill 30 enemies multiplayer. Nothing really to say about that. It's easy. Next one is these stripes. And that's uh, get 50 long shot medals with the M79 in multiplayer. Uh, this one does take a little while, but it's really not that hard. Uh, next one's classic. You get two kills without dying 20 times with all kills coming from the M79 in multiplayer. Again, it's not hard. This one will happen just from playing with it. Next is Geometric. Destroy 50 equipment, score streaks, or vehicles in multiplayer. This one will get completed while you're working on the Science Camel. Just make sure you equip Engineer and you'll see all the vehicles and stuff like sentry guns and all the equipment laying around. It's really easy. Next one's the Flora which is shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you. Now th this one was a bit confusing. I, what's taking cover? Behind a rock? Behind a tree? Behind a fence? Uh, but what I did find for sure taking cover is in a building. So I took care of this going in hardcore nuketown. Just shot in the garages, in the doors, and in the second story windows. And it finished off pretty quick. Next one's a science camel. <laughs> yeah, this is one everyone loves. So this one is destroy three score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game ten times in multiplayer. Okay, sounds sounds easy. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that's that's not going to take long at all. I'll get that done in you know in ten games. Nope. So this one right here is the reason why I decided to make this video. At first, it's absolutely maddening. Once I figured it out though, once I figured out a strategy, it it was fun. And the last one is a psychedelic camo. This one killed two or more enemies rapidly 25 times. Okay, this one, I was surprised. This was the last one I completed. I thought it, this one was just happening when playing, but I actually had to go into hardcore nuketown again, where I just launched shots from one backyard to the other. Whatever side I'd spawn on, I'd just go over to the side of the backyard and launch them into the other backyard. And that finished it off pretty quickly. All right, let's get on with this. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, choppers and I think this is actually the easiest overall I mean it's not as easy as a snowmobile driving by and you just pop them but overall this is uh, the most consistent way to get this done okay at the beginning of the game like when the match first starts you're dropping in from the plane you're probably not gonna see any vehicles so I just drop in with my team kind of see where it's where the game is headed kind of teammates I got we got a good team that I'm not gonna feel right about going after vehicles or going after choppers. I just kind of see how it goes. As you'll notice in a lot of these clips here, while I am actually going after vehicles, my team's in like 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth place. You know, we're not going to win, so I just go after the vehicles. But if I end up being on a good team, I don't really want to waste that. So what you want to do as you're dropping down is just pop that chute right away and just float around and got engineer equipped. You'll see vehicles, you'll see the red, and you just drop down on them and try to take them out. So what I figured out with choppers, you're not going to take them out with a single noob tube when they're at full health. So with an LMG equipped, try to soften them up a little bit. 
you want to get them below half health. Once it's below half health, you can take it out with a single nuke tube. I also want to mention that I've got the barrel attached that increases vehicle damage. It's the Cavalry Lancer barrel. do not have the perk active that will give you an extra grenade in your nuke tube. I believe it's danger close. I opted for the perk that will give you an extra three attachment slots so I can make sure that my gun is as accurate as possible because I'm more worried about softening up the chopper as quick as possible because you're falling fast when you've got your weapon out and you got other people trying to take it out as well so you, you just got to be quick. It happens a lot. We were dropping down and getting ready to take your shot and somebody else takes it out, especially with tanks. For the amount of tanks that I see compared to what I actually get, it's almost not worth it going after the tanks. You've got people on the ground that are trying to see forward or shooting rockets at it and they see that tank coming and it seems like everybody's after it. The tanks just don't seem to last very long. I still do go after them, but I don't get my hopes up that it's still going to be around by the time I take my shot with a noob tube. Also, when you're dropping from the sky, when you're ready to take that shot with a noob tube, if you're still pretty high above that chopper, you're probably going to have to hit your shoot one more time and then cut it, because after you fall a certain distance, your weapon automatically gets put away and your hands come out. I had it happen way too many times where I'm falling with a noob tube. Just as I'm about to take that shot, it gets put away and my hands are out. So what I do to try to prevent this is I quickly pull my shoot when I'm getting close and then cut it again and then take my shot. Now sometimes someone else is going to steal your destroy. Nothing you can do about it, just move on to the next. Yeah, it's fun dropping down from above and taking them out. Most of the time, you'll spot them, you'll get down there, and then they'll, then they'll jump off to loot a box or run into a building. So with snowmobiles, if I see them and I think they're going to get off, like they're getting close to a building, looking back, I would just take the shot at a distance, see what happened. So many of these guys on the snowmobiles, um, they change directions constantly, trying to get your shot lined up, and they swerve. They go the opposite direction. They completely turn around. You know, they, they can't make up their mind what they're doing. I get it. It's not their job to make your shot any easier. It's just a pain when you're trying to take them out. When you're just running around on the ground, just keep your ears open. You'll hear the snowmobiles coming. And of course, don't worry about the damage you're going to take. You're only here to get the vehicle destroys. Cruise missile inbound. Now on this one, I don't realize it at the time, but there's another new tuber coming down in the sky behind me. But luckily he misses and I get the shot. But he does end up taking me out with the noob tube. Which, if I'm gonna die, might as well be by a noob tube. I don't mind.
And if you take out enough snowmobiles, watch your back. They might be coming for you. People see a snowmobile coming, they got a rocket launcher or a nuke tube on the ground. They're going after it. So if you're dropping in from above, you've got that much less of a chance to get it. That's why I love going after the choppers. In my opinion, you can easily get three choppers in a match. And if you don't, say you get two and you get one snowmobile that happens to be driving by. But with the choppers, so many of them are called in during a match. So if you're on the ground and you hear this... Coastal attack helicopter inbound. Just kill yourself, drop in as fast as you can take it out. Just look at your mini-map, you'll see what direction it's in, and then you can go after it. No hey, what? Now here, I see a tank that was just dropped in, and I'm thinking, hmm, should I soften it up? Maybe it'll help me out later? And I'm like, yeah, what the hell? Well, it ended up working out perfectly. On my next spawn, an enemy grabbed that tank that I softened up, so it gave me a little better chance to take it out before it got destroyed, because I could just kind of drop down with my noob tube quicker, instead of hanging up in the air, softening it up with the LMG. Still though, I did take too long taking my shot with the noob tube on this. I should have taken the shot a lot sooner. The only reason why I was able to take it out is because I got lucky no one else was on the ground going after it. This is what usually happens when you go after a tank in the air. Nope. Too late. And again. Now don't forget about the score streaks, like the sentry guns. They're pretty plentiful here too. And if you nab yourself a score streak, a snowmobile, and a chopper, there's your three for that match. there's any way to get a gunship with a nuke tube, but I wasn't aware at first that you could take one out with an LMG, but you can. I hate them things. Just trying to go about my business and get my vehicle kills, and these things are insta-killing everyone on the map. Don't forget to take shots at some distant targets while you're running around on the ground. Might as well try to take care of some long shots while you're at it. And if you see something way off in the distance that you think you might be able to hit, go for it. This one here, they bailed from the snowmobile, but uh, yeah, what the hell? I got it lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shot. You never know, maybe he'll jump back on. While you're floating around, if you don't see any vehicles, but you see some action going on at one of the bomb sites. Drop on in there and put your newly acquired aerial noob tube skills to use. Oh yeah, and while you're running around, you might as well be taking some shots into the buildings. Help get that flora camel taken care of. Oh, and you're gonna see a lot of this. I hate that symbol. It means the guy that you just hammered with the M79, well, he's got a flak jacket on. His mom probably made him wear it. Lil Timmy, are you playing that Call of Duty again? Make sure you got your flak jacket on. Here's what I think of someone wearing a flak jacket. 
How's it working for you now? Eat it, Flacky. Oh, hey, bartender. F you. We don't serve your kind here. Well, okay then. Generally, I don't try to take shots up at someone or going uphill. But if you do, the shot's got to be spot on because you're not going to get much for splash damage. With this snowmobile, I misjudged where he was headed. But right before I got killed, as I'm being pummeled with bullets, I noticed a Sam turret up on top of the hill and just kind of quick get a shot off and lucked out. Like I mentioned earlier, if you get into the game and you've got a good team, I mean, it's up to you because, you know, you're here trying to get vehicle destroys. But if your team's doing really good, just consider helping them out because after you play this mode for a while, you'll realize good teammates are kind of few and far between. And so wins don't come that easy. Anyway, last week I was in a game where I had spent a decent amount of time earlier in the game going after vehicles. But as the game went on, I noticed that my team was actually pretty decent. They were communicating well, seemed like some cool dudes. And I was kind of like, oh shit, I felt bad for going after vehicles earlier in the match because these guys were doing pretty good. Kind of bouncing back and forth between first and second. It was basically just two guys doing it all on my team. Me and one other guy were the randoms, I guess, and the other random wasn't really doing much of anything. Like I said, these two guys were cool teammates. I wish I would have had my mic on, but I just decided to give them my best and try to help them get a win. I'm just going to leave you with a couple clips from this match. There's no crazy shots or anything like that, but this game ended up being a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See ya. All right, damn, I got hit from behind. There's too many people now, I think. I'll stay alive so we don't get a team wipe. He's dead, A, dead, A, dead, A. All right, I'm okay. coming down. I popped. Hostile counter fly plane. Oh my god, there are so many fucking people over here. It's ridiculous. Bro, we almost got it. Oh my god, he got it. He got it. Jesus. What a fucking this fucking kid is nice. Fuck, I got us fucking white. Fucking white. I mean, <laughs> if we could theoretically win this. Yeah. Unless this is Prowler right here that's detonating B. Yeah, I hope not. We gotta get one of these, bro. B, 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 A, one of them. Let's, let's try D. I think D's our best option. Lay on these back houses right here and let's take them off. From behind. Yeah. Try and do it. Try and get it. Try and get it. Come on. We almost got it. Come on. Come we on, almost come fucking on, got on, it. On. We almost fucking got it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, motherfucker. Let's go. 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 Let's